Now it's time to check out a dessert called Kanom Mo Geng. This is one of the many well-known Thai desserts. There are many kinds of Kanom Mo Geng. But today we'll make one that features a favorite type of bean, the mung bean. After we have steamed the mung beans and they are cooked, use your fingertips to feel how smooth and soft they are. This is perfectly steamed and they are not too mushy. As well as the beans, we need palm sugar, coconut cream and duck eggs, which give us a brighter color and a stickier texture. But if you have chicken eggs, they are okay too. Then there are pandanus leaves, which give a sweet aroma, perfect for this dessert, and a bit of salt and shallots for garnishing. Now let's get started. First, put the mung beans into a mixing bowl, followed by eggs, Then we add palm sugar and pandanus leaves, which I will tear up. I'm going to use my hands to rip the leaves before putting them into the mixing bowl. I'm using my hands again to mix all the ingredients together. Add the remaining palm sugar. We like to use salt in Thai desserts, so let's add a little now and slowly mix everything together until the sugar is dissolved. Then we pour in all the coconut cream. After mixing everything together well, we can strain the mixture into a bowl. We strain it to get a smooth texture. When we have thoroughly strained everything into a smooth liquid, pour into a saucepan and stir a little before cooking. Cook on a medium heat, slowly but continuously stirring the mixture, no pause at all. This is a very important moment and the temperature must not exceed 80 degrees Celsius or fall below 70. Keep stirring. By doing this, we will get a creamy sweet bake. It's actually a pre-cook before we really bake it. We can see now that it's getting creamier so I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and quickly stir and pour it into a baking dish. The mixture should be smooth and creamy. I'm going to stir it once more and leave it for about 20 minutes before we put it into the oven. And 20 minutes have passed, so we can bake it now. Set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and bake it for half an hour. Now that 30 minutes have passed, it is ready. And this is just beautiful. We'll cut it into small pieces to serve. Here we have a perfect slice ready for serving. Sprinkle on some mung beans and some fried shallots for the unique Thai dish of Kanom Mo Geng. You may have it with vanilla ice cream or white chocolate on the side. They really complement each other. It smells really good. Try this and see for yourself. You will really enjoy it.